Hi everyone, uh, my name is Kat and I'm the Community and Engagement Manager for Lean Agile Global 2021. In the lead up to the live virtual conference on 24th and 25th May 2021, I will be introducing you to some of the fantastic speakers that we have lined up for you. Today I am delighted to introduce Judy Reese, consultant at Reese McCann and co-author of the best-selling book Clean Language. Welcome Judy, delighted to have you here. Great to be here. Wonderful. Um, so I've prepared um, five questions for you today. Um, the first one would be, how would you describe yourself in a single tweet? Well, to describe my work, I help people to uh, connect more deeply on get online by supporting engaging, inclusive online gatherings. And that work is underpinned by clean language principles. Lovely, lovely. And obviously so important for, for the world that we're in right now. Absolutely. Wonderful. Um, so in your opinion, why should people come and join us virtually at Lean Agile Global 2021? Well, Lean Agile Global is one of the places where you can meet the leading thinkers in terms of getting people to engage online. You guys have been working with us for some time now, since before the first of the COVID lockdowns. And between us, I would say we we comprise some of the, the, I think the world leading thinking in terms of how do you get a diverse group of people to really have conversations online, not be talked at with brain dumps, but instead to have some of that amazing synchronicity that happens in a beautifully warm, in the room, small conference. How do we make that happen online? And Lean Agile Global is the place where people can experience that. I would guess, obviously I can't be everywhere all, all the time, but I think it really is up there with the leaders in the field. That's amazing. Thank you so much for saying so. And as you kind of just touched on, you know, we want LAG to be a diverse and inclusive conference. Um, what does that mean to you? Um, for me, diverse and inclusive are part of the same mixture. Diversity, I think, is one of the things that people are misunderstanding, particularly online. Everybody is different, even when you know everybody is different. One of the most interesting things about using clean language questions and clean language principles is to really understand what it means that everybody is seeing a different universe out of their eyes. That just because we appear to be superficially similar doesn't mean that we think the same or that we feel the same or that we even see the same world. And getting online has enabled us to experience diversity in a much wider context. When we used to only meet people who we could meet Physically, I mean, I'm old enough to remember that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, we, we always had something in common with the people we met that we could physically get to the same place. Once we started to meet in writing online in forums and so forth 20 years ago, maybe longer than that, scary long time ago, <laughs> um, we started to expand our sense of who we could talk to, who we could be connected to. Now, particularly in the last year, as more and more people have got themselves online, we can include a much right rain, wider range of people in our conversations. So that would include a range of ages, uh, as well as a mixture of men, women and others, and from different parts of the world. I've done loads of work this year with people in fairly dodgy places in the Middle East and in Africa. I'd never have done that if we couldn't do it online. Absolutely. Um, but the whole inclusivity piece is to take on board that richness of different people's life experience, different ways of seeing the world and say, right, well, what does that mean in terms of how we set things up? Clearly, in order to engage at all in this online conversation, you need an internet connection. That means that you're automatically limiting the engagement of people in, for example, certain parts of Africa and the Middle East, 
where they haven't got a continuous electricity supply yes because of the lack of um basic infrastructure in the country yes and so on so that there's all sorts of interesting challenges that present themselves in terms of how do you find ways to keep people get and keep people engaged in conversation even when there's so much difference going on absolutely no i completely agree with that i think that's you know a really amazing way to think about it you know uh, even as you said even just the way of thinking is so different um, depending on who we are as a person and where we come from. So I think that's a very well-rounded idea of, of what we're trying to accomplish. So that's fantastic. Um, so why should people come to your talk at Lean Agile Global? Well, a lot of people listening to this will have bumped into clean language along their agile journey, I would guess. Um, Clean language is not about not swearing. It's a way of finding out about what's really going on inside another person's mind. Well, we can apply those principles to a whole bunch of different contexts. But in this particular session, we're going to apply them to the shapes of our teams and our work groups, because I think everybody can acknowledge that the shapes of those work groups have changed given the pandemic, how uh, where people used to work all together in one room, now they're spread out all over the place. What's going to happen next? Are we going to end up with hybrid forms when people are going to be some in the office, some remote? Are we going to go all remote? That's where we're going to be exploring. We're going, you're going to be learning a bit of stuff from me, but you're also going to be exploring how it applies to the um, groups and teams that you're working with. Amazing. Great. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Um, and the final question then, which is a little bit more on a, on a personal side, but something that I'm very interested to know about, um, what are you looking most forward to after COVID has started settling down? <laughs> Getting out of my tiny corner of West London. Yes. <laughs> onto a hill where I can see the sea. I want to get up onto a mountain in the Lake District or somewhere in Scotland where I can climb to the top and I can see the sea in the distance on a beautiful sunny day. Nice breeze, not too hot, not too cold. And we can breathe again. And yeah. um, when that happens, we'll know, I'll know that things are starting to return to normal. Of course, there's so much else to look forward to, but if you ask one thing, that's yeah. the thing. Lovely. I absolutely love that. Being Canadian, I'm a big hiker and, you know, being being locked inside when I'd rather be hiking a mountain, exactly as you said, you know, when you said seeing the ocean in the distance and being able to take a breath and being able to breathe, that really resonated with me. So I'm right there with you. Uh, good. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for your time, Judy. I'm looking forward to having you at Lean Agile London on the 24th and 25th or sorry, not London, global. Um, on the, uh, <laughs> yes, we're global. Global, we're global on the 24th and 25th of May this year, 2021. So really looking forward to it. Thank you, Judy. Appreciate your time. Thanks very much.